Good morning. <laughs> so, um, we're going to do a what I eat in a day. Um, I try to have like lemon water in the morning before I like start eating breakfast. And if you guys like my cup, I got it from Starbucks. This is like their Valentine's Day edition. I love their cups, okay? I will not have two red cents if Starbucks keeps coming out with these cute cups. Anyway, I have lemon water for breakfast. Last night, I made... Voila! Overnight oats. And I'll tell you what's in it. You'll need a heart-shaped bowl, or you can put it in anything a jar will do. I put a half of cup of five-minute oats. I also put a half of cup of vanilla almond milk. I put in one fourth cup of Greek yogurt. I also put a ton of cinnamon, a bit of nutmeg, and a heaping spoon of honey. Mix all the ingredients together and put some saran wrap on it and bam, put it in the refrigerator and there you go, overnight oats. I don't want to spill it, but this is my oatmeal and I'm going to make it look super pretty, so let's do that together. So this is my first time ever having like um, overnight oats. I think I went a bit too hard on the cinnamon, but it's really good. Yeah, I like it. If you're curious, this is the kind of um, granola I put in it. This is Kobe Rich Strawberry. Um, I actually have had this with almond milk before and it's really, really good. I wanted something that was going to give me like a crunch because I like like all those different textures. I was going for McDonald's oatmeal. Do y'all remember when McDonald's used to make oatmeal? Uh, McDonald's was my first job and I remember making the oatmeal and I used to make the best oatmeal hands down. Ah, my oatmeal is gone. It was so good. Next time I make this, I'm going to make it with less cinnamon and maybe less yogurt <clears throat> because the yogurt kind of gave it like a little tartness and the cinnamon was just a tad bit overpowering. Anyways, I'm going to finish out my day, do some work around here, some laundry, etc, etc, and then I'll see you guys when it's time for lunch. Toodles! <sighs> so... I, it's lunchtime, okay, and I just got some crazy news from my sister in reference to my parents, and it freaked me out, so my lunch has been delayed for an extensive period of time. However, I am starving, okay, like my stomach is like, Destiny, when are you going to feed me? So, we are going to make a salmon bagel. I haven't had one of these in like years, I feel like. Actually, I think I had one like two Thanksgivings ago. So I'm going to make it and I'm super excited because I'm hungry. So let's do it. I have wheat bagels. You can use whatever bagels you like. I toasted them in the toaster. I'm using Philadelphia cream cheese. If you don't use Philadelphia cream cheese, girl, what are you using? Okay. I have sliced avocado, smoked salmon, and purple onion. I don't know why people call this red onion. It's definitely purple. Anyway, that's what I like on my salmon bagel. It's so so I wouldn't usually eat and stand. However, I just got a phone call from a friend, so I have to jet. But this is my salmon bagel. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. This will be even more perfect if I had some capers. But I don't have any capers. So, and you don't even eat any salt because the salmon is smoked, so it's already kind of salty. You guys, this is like my favorite thing to eat ever. Mmm. So good. Alright. I'm going to make a run. And then I'll see you guys when it's time for dinner. Toodles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you this way? Make a right. No. See, I told you that would be quick. A quick run to the store. 
So I ate my bagel on the way to the store with my friend and now I am extremely thirsty because I didn't take anything to drink with me. But I don't want water. I told you guys in my initial video that I drink mostly water, like 95% water and that is still true. However, from time to time I will have like tea or basically tea or lemonade but 95% of the time I'm drinking water. So we're going to make some chai tea. I love chai tea. So you'll need some almond milk. You can use regular milk. You can use oat milk. I have tried this with regular milk, but I didn't like it. So I use silk almond vanilla. My boo thing also uses this on his cereal. So it never goes to waste. And you also need chai tea. So we can do this together. I'm trying to tell you. you said trying to? I'm trying to tell you. My God you is an awesome God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> okay, so it's getting late here and I need to start prepping dinner. So I have some beans on the stove already. I like to use dry beans. Let me get them. So shout out to the community that I live in because I posted like a question on this community board that we have here basically asking like where I can get dry black beans and somebody responded and she actually gave me a bag of dry black beans. So I like using dry beans because canned beans have a ton of sodium in it and I'm trying to reduce my sodium intake. Hold on, the boys are screaming. Boys, stop yelling at each other. Okay, so I like to um, use dry black beans. So I soak them overnight and then in the morning, I basically put them in a pot and let them cook for about an hour and a half so they can get soft. I also have some frozen corn on the stove as well because I like using frozen corn because it's like next to fresh. So it's like fresh, frozen, then canned because canned is like sitting in this liquid all this time. So I rather use frozen fruits and vegetables if I can't get them fresh. So I'm making a taco bowl and I'm going to use chicken. We don't have ground chicken here. Actually, I'm lying. We do have ground chicken here. However, it's just more cost effective if I just ground the chicken myself. Personal opinion, personal preference. I have some chicken breast. There's two in here with the skin on. Bone out skin on chicken breast. I'm going to clean them and then I'm going to put them in my Ninja and like chop them up so we can have some ground chicken. Today I'm using grapeseed oil but I do use coconut oil, olive oil, there are like a ton of oils you can use and it's just really personal preference. So we're going to put the chicken in our pan and I'm going to make my own taco seasoning. I do this a lot. I very rarely use packaged anything. So my taco seasoning consists of chili powder, cumin, oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt. That's it. So I'm going to tell you everything that's in my taco bowl and then we're going to build it together. So first I have some lettuce and some spinach. I actually chopped this stuff up last night because I had like a strawberry salad and it was so good. So this is the lettuce. It's actually um, romaine lettuce and spinach. I also have some rice. I always have rice because we used to eat rice a lot and I'm not eating rice as much but I'm still eating rice. So I have like a whole thing of white rice, nothing special. I actually buy Japanese rice and if you're interested, I'll show you what kind. 
So I buy this Japanese rice. It's like 1300 yen at Sanwa. I always get my rice from Sanwa. I get most of my stuff from Sanwa because Sanwa is like the cheapest grocery store near me. So you guys already saw the beans and the corn and the chicken that I cooked up. I also have um shredded cheese i shredded this myself i don't use like pre-shredded cheese because it has like that white stuff on it and yeah it just doesn't it just doesn't taste as good as when you shred your own cheese so i have shredded cheese i have tomatoes and i have tortilla chips um you could use wontons i was looking for like tortilla wontons is that what it's called no tortilla strips but they didn't have any so i had like some um tortilla chips and i just crunched them up into little pieces and then i also have the other half of that avocado that i had earlier on my bagel my salmon bagel <laughs> and then i have greek yogurt this is like plain um greek yogurt this is like a substitute for sour cream for me so without further ado let's build our taco bowl this is one of my easiest, simplest dishes to make. So you'll need lettuce or spinach, whatever you prefer, rice, corn, black beans, avocado if you like avocado, cheese, tortilla chips or tortilla strips, also tomatoes and ground chicken or turkey. This is the easiest, simplest, most delicious thing to make. Don't forget your Greek yogurt. So you guys, my food is so good. I have thoroughly enjoyed making this video for you guys from breakfast to lunch to running an errand with my friend and then to making dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching and you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share your share videos and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!